Let's get into it, man. I think this is episode 23. We're still going. We're going to get back like steady to it. Yeah, that's pretty good. It works. <laughs> uh, man, we, we got the homie. We've known him for a cool minute. It was crazy. Um, he's still young, but he's been doing his work and in this game for a cool minute already. Uh, entrepreneur, uh, you know, uh, connects the dots. Uh, <laughs> Playmaker, which is in his name, um, you know what I mean? Marketing genius, but uh, we got E.G. Young in here. E.G. Yo. the Playmaker, man. What's up, man? What's the vibes, man? I heard you do this crack thing. I got I got the water bottle. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to do the pop the top, you know? I'm gonna drop the top, pop the top. You I, know had what to, mean? I had to crack my beer open for this one, man. We're, we're uh, you know, we, we go back, yeah. uh, you know, pretty, pretty long. Um, a lot of the stuff, we, well, you just mentioned it. Before we get into the story, you were looking yeah. back here. We're in the same spot. We've done a few different things. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you noticed when you came in, the yeah. door was on the... Yeah. The door used to be over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, stuff like that. But you look back here and go, man, I remember we, we did a show back here and you guys brought up fucking stage. I know. But we have, a, like, a small stage here right now for, like, <laughs> events. But you guys brought one. It was, like, big, I dog. brought one of those, uh, yeah. like, six feet from yeah. the city. Because they're <laughs> panels. It was an actual panel. Because uh-huh. uh, one of my peoples, they own, like, city panels and stuff. And I had brought a whole panel of it here. And I was like, yo, how the fuck did I fit that in here? I don't even remember. I think we... <laughs> I think because I remember the oh, truck rolled shoot. up to the back, and I remember even going outside and going, "What the fuck? <laughs> How's that gonna fit?" And I, and I remember uh, who was it at the show? It was Ono, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was uh, Ono, myself. Uh, I think that was it. I think we had some openers, but like that was the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to have some good times at that time. We had yeah, some good and this shit there, was but... packed, bro. Yeah, like, it was packed in here, and but I remember even uh, you know Rels was looking at him going. <laughs> I like that. It's like a, he liked this. Like, yeah, uh, that, yeah we're up high, dog. It was, like, it was cool, man. Yeah. So, but, yeah, those are how far we go back. And, you know, since then, we've had to slow down the in-store events. Yeah. But uh, those were good times, bro. Yeah. Man, definitely. And I always appreciate you guys being so welcoming and and always, like, um, supporting whatever I'm doing and whatever I'm affiliated with and, and handling. Cause I touch a lot of things, a lot of different projects and stuff, but overall I appreciate you guys for welcoming me, welcoming me, you know, just in general. So it's always love. Yeah, man. And, and, uh, speaking, you know, the thing is you've always, you've always also, uh, come correct. Like, yeah, I forgot where I originally met you. I think it might've been a show like a long time, maybe yeah. Fora or somebody, Doug. Cause I know you've done stuff with him as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't remember how we met. Honestly. We, we, I mean, I'm sure it's mutuals. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was somewhere, but I remember you kept in contact. You saw what we were doing and then you were, uh, but you've always, uh, handled yourself like, uh, professionally. Yeah. Like, it's like, get to, you know, this is what I want to do. How, how can we work together and, and make <laughs> this happen? And then not that it's, it's crazy to me because that ties into what you do for a living. Yeah. Like you got to connect the dots and get to the point and handle business. Yeah. I just, I, I believe in fair business. Yeah. I believe in, uh, in, 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 in good res- like respect, you know, I believe in good karma yeah and um i just believe in just trying to be a, a good human to other people that's it like it's, i mean no one's perfect but at least i'm coming to the table with genuine intentions you know what i'm saying so, yeah thank you brother but but it's not st- enough like that i know right <laughs> but still but still um able to handle business because in this world and the stuff you do which we'll get into but mm-hmm. um you got to connect dots and make things happen and and show and prove to your clients what you can do and not all all the time uh people are are the same when you're dealing with because we've we've had you know plenty of meetings with different types of people as well and you i even saw on your instagram kind of you talking about that you can almost tell when someone comes into a situation uh when you're trying to break bread or make something happen Mm -hmm. and they come in already in their feelings or whatever you were talking about but um you know it's crazy uh fun fact though i remember you were the actually the last guest that we had 
in here before the pandemic had shut I down was. the shop. Yeah. Oh wow. I mean, we still had the show going from well, we did it from our garage. Right, right, right. But, but it was when, when the pandemic shut everything when they, down. When they started shutting, where oh, you know they, damn. people couldn't be in the same place. You know the cart, the curfews. And yeah, the, I remember we did it right there. Yeah, yeah, I was right, sitting right yeah, there. Yeah, and, and that was the last. After that show, we had to start doing it from the house for for a, like what almost a year. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. 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 Damn, yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. We were doing it at different spots and shit. And then I just remember that right now. Then we started coming back. You know, with the mask slowly, or you know. <laughs> doing the best we could yeah. to accommodate but you know here here we are but that that is crazy but yeah. um you know what i was what i was getting at is what what you were just saying is you you handle things with genuine intentions like yeah. it's, it's to make something happen we could all we can all eat we can all break bread mm -hmm. um but sometimes it gets to where you just got to get down to business yeah because uh, it could get noisy when uh, yeah especially when emotions are invo involved and stuff and that's why i myself I, I do my very best to uh to not make a decision when i'm in my emotions because that's like that's like a, a a preparation perfect recipe for like failure you yeah. know and and, uh, and you could get caught slipping like that mm -hmm. you know so same thing I, for I, like I, posting shit on social media <laughs> you better like calm yourself down before you go on that you know you don't want to yeah <laughs> you know, like exactly that. Yeah. a lot of people need to hear don't that one sand. don't hit sand hold on <laughs> don't hit sand don't hit <laughs> yeah. post don't hit people, post yeah, yeah. people be putting their whole fucking like lives on their dog like yeah. man i don't know it's kind of trippy to me yeah. but no but i i hear what you're saying it's uh that that doesn't make for good uh, uh investments or or decisions as a yeah. team yeah. when someone is coming in because you're it, just like gonna that. realize like oh man i made a mistake mm -hmm. you know and, and why just why why learn the hard way try to learn the uh the efficient way yeah you know the easier way right of easy but it's 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 difficult because you you know you could be mad you could be sad you could be depressed and you want to post whatever or you want to say these things but it's like hold up you know control is 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 very important i i've uh i you know probably years ago i was i was guilty of it at some point we in all my man. life because you know the way we grew you know with a chip on our shoulders sometimes mm -hmm. or the way we grew up um but yeah i mean my brother knows uh I've gotten way better at this. Like some s certain thing will happen. I say, you know what? I'm not going to do nothing or react or say nothing to nobody yeah. till tomorrow. I don't want to go with off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you said, off the emotions or if I'm pissed right now, I'm going to wait. Mm -hmm. I'm going to marinate on this. And then I'll, That's and funny. Then, I, I use that word a lot. It. Well, marinate? Yeah. I, use yeah. That word. I think it's because I'm a gordito <laughs> yeah. and I like to cook. But I'd be like, yo, just this, this meeting, let's just sit down and marinate Sometimes all the information. Sometimes we got to marinate, bro. <laughs> this is the way I'm going to marinate. I'm going to go cook. I'm going to go eat. <laughs> hey, you, I know you be seeing my stories. I'll be grilling, man. I'll be oh. really grilling outside, man. I'll be on the rooftop just with the carne asada and the pollo asado like all that like it's therapeutic right? i i love i yeah. love to cook because i'm like i'm a fat boy so i'm a, i'm about to eat some fire stuff yeah i don't want to eat no booth you know i don't like, i don't uh like i'm not a super cooker guy but i do like to barbecue yeah and i'm actually i want to get me a smoker soon and start smoking my shit i know with the wood smoke oh, i don't know how that. to do that i don't either oh, but yeah. i want to learn because oh, right. that shit <laughs> tastes so bomb bro yeah. like i love that that smoked barbecue that's that bro. houston vibe like yeah dog. all that like that's where i get the real barbecue from like the smoked out that like, you know it's a real barbecue place when they have the barbecue sauce heated mm-hmm that's a real barbecue place not mm -hmm. when it's in the bottle or the or whatever else it comes yeah. in but when they specifically give that type of attention and treatment to their barbecue yeah. sauce that's a real spot and there's probably no preservatives it's like they just make it right there <laughs> well yeah and uh, the most bottle, of the time you know? it's it's because they made the shit themselves yeah. from scratch exactly bro. Yeah, yeah. it's just a game changer so like houston that's why i love houston aside from like my experience out there and everything so shout out to my houston family you're is that uh you you have family over there uh but i'm i'm referring to uh rap a lot oh, okay, and, uh, okay the prince family so okay. those those people always look out for me when i'm out there and um they family to me because we've we've been through a lot and i've shown nothing but like uh but love and and vice versa so it's been a, it's been a crazy experience just over there um i think my my houston trip is a bit spoiled so i'll never be able to like experience it any other way as a normal person because of the big names that we've been around out there and stuff and the drakes and all that whatsoever but it's fun man it's, it's just like the culture of houston is fun like 
it's amazing like the uh, it's very like southern hospitality type of vibes i, I gotta get out more man i'm telling <laughs> you man i'm gonna go start hitting up spots bro because yeah. yeah you know we know somebody somewhere and then extended hip-hop family yeah. or even yeah. uh real family but just to get out there and soak up other people's vibes bro like, yeah traveling know? is amazing man like i learned so much just like inspiration and just being able to see other people live the way they live their lifestyle in their environment so i i, I use travel as like a lot of inspiration to me what other what other uh cities could you say like uh they're pretty memorable or like that you have a i, look, like I like good i really spot in your heart for like that you've been to i really like charlotte i like the Rock. epicenter so um i know like two c the baby all from out there arnold um carter shout out to them they always you know we've worked on on different projects i was just talking to two c um yesterday regarding some stuff for the tour that they got going off but charlotte's amazing the epicenter's a vibe it's like a there's like clubs it's a whole circle it's like a club bowling they got a whole bunch of activities oh, and cool. there's a restaurant called la belle helene yo <laughs> i'm telling you the like some of the fires rotisserie chicken with the mashed potatoes oh. and the asparagus like with the fancy silver plate you gotta like rsvp and everything i was there i was in charlotte for like a business trip for like two weeks there so i literally was chilling there man i i, I could be like yo i know where this is at i know where that's at so it was, it was when cool when you start knowing the even the side streets like i'm gonna go around get this like, way through the yeah i'm I'm a, I'm a civilian here i'm a citizen now and all that. but i also love um i also really like utah salt lake city um i don't know i i i really liked the this the light fluffy snow that was there at the time that when i was on tour i had we had stopped there in that city I forgot what tour it was i'm not sure if, what tour exactly for which artist but i love i love that vibe and then um turks and caicos that's the, that's where my soul is like my spirit is out there still wait so that, that's a <laughs> is that an island or that's an island yeah oh, what, a caribbean or where, where yeah it's it's like it's the one that all the rappers talk about because i've heard of it but i don't know exactly like geographically like where yeah it's at. yeah it's um it's like two hours away from miami so you have oh, to okay, yeah like yeah, the caribbean yeah area. exactly yeah. Okay. you you have to fly to miami and then get on a plane from miami you have to like because oh, okay. that's the only one or something like that but um yeah turks that's and caicos dope. is like the vibe man that it's sounds like, fun man. i've been there a few times and, and and it's it's always been an experience like it's so peaceful it's not like tulum or, or, or something like that you know like or puerto vallarta like it's not wild it's just really like calm tranquility type yeah, i don't vibes. have any frame of reference because i haven't been anywhere except for <laughs> like maybe downtown la or tj or <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> said, vegas rosarito <laughs> ensenada <laughs> you know baja beach fest that's where i'm at <laughs> i've been to vegas and state uh, line no. <laughs> oh but i have been to maui so I, um I, yeah. i'm happy about that at least i got to go the there, ocean but. side yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey um you know you you were mentioning some of the names and stuff you work with a lot of people yeah um but let's talk about before before we get into it, exactly mm. what you do as an you know partly as an influencer as well yeah who influenced you to be an influencer or 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 to to go that route you know uh, from your artist stuff to kind of navigating into the business side I, I, it's funny because i've always been i've always said and i probably could i probably said the same shit on the last time that i was on the show um, but I've always told myself I want to be the Latino Jay-Z or Latino Diddy. Like, I don't know what, how or what, but I just want to be able to be that guy that touches whatever he does or whatever he touches is gold. Like, it's a success. Yeah. No matter what he does, if it's music, if it's writing in the back or setting up the place for your favorite artist or promoting and mar handling the marketing rollout strategy for brands or whoever, like... I just want to be that guy it's like yo he was a part of somebody's successful brand career like without that person it probably wouldn't have been possible type of vibe you know and so i i feel like i've been able to manage to do that you know very well and i'm, I'm thankful to do what i love to do for a living you know yeah man that that that's fucking like that's everybody's <laughs> dream like you, you it, once you're doing you know uh what you like to do you you're not what they say you're not working no more you're not working a day in your life yeah you know i'm not I mean? working man bro I, I wake up beautiful beautiful house um beautiful dog 
<laughs> well, know? Lola, right? Yeah, yeah you, Lola. There we yeah, go. Yeah. yeah, Lola, man. That's well, my baby. That's my daughter. She's an Instagram famous too. <laughs> man, she's she's uh she's definitely lovable. She's <laughs> this that's my baby, man. I would have brought her, but I just didn't want her to be in the way and all that stuff. And you know, you know, we have a shop cat here now. You probably didn't see her on the way. Oh, for real? Yeah, I swear she probably <laughs> would have been chilling with the cat. There, probably, yeah. <laughs> She's in the front, bro. Like oh. I swear we have a cat. It's the home girl that runs the front of the shop. Yeah. Um, she took over the cat. Rest in peace, the homie, the shoe guy next door. You know, you've been oh, coming yeah. around here mm-hmm. for a while. He yeah. passed away Damn. though, so somebody took over Lost the business. Cat, yeah. But. Uh, they, the cat lived there it went there as a kitten like in a rainy season or whatever and it, and it and it never left his shop so it lived there and so she took over and now the cat the cat lives so here she just though. moved next door oh she moved it yeah over. she moved so, uh, uh one place over uh, but yeah she probably would have got along with the with with the cat um <laughs> um you you spoke uh, you know the house the dog you know yeah. the oh the relationship status now oh yeah yeah I got a girl yeah, yeah you yeah. know I got a girl I'm, I'm I'm happy I'm healthy yeah that's the most important I really I really just like I urge people to just do whatever makes them feel whole whatever makes them feel healthy and by healthy I mean not just like physically I mean like mentally Mental. stimulating emotionally. you know what I'm saying yeah. emotionally healthy type of vibes that's where i'm at with it so yeah you know and do stuff that like you're you're motivated to do yeah. like stuff that you like to do man that's I, just where i'm at with my life man like, you yeah. know like we all got our phases our times and i'm just like in hyper focus mode like i'm just like all about my business all about my dog you know what i mean uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, all not- about my team and, and just whatever's mine man you know and i'm i'm just like like this bro that's one of the that's literally one of the things that makes me happy when I get home after a long day or whatever, you yeah. know, I get home and I, I got all these animals at my house. Like, <laughs> I'm, I always tell people I'm like, I'm the, the new Ace Ventura. I'm going to make a, a, like a little farm in my house. Man, I love Jim Carrey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I know all his movies, The Mask, Jim, uh, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, yep. all of them. I'm the, a, I'm a, I, I feel like I talk to the animals, bro. They yeah, love behind, me. behind every great man is a great pet. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, your woman too, but right, right. Right. wait, wait, don't, yeah, ladies, Yo, don't, don't get mad, ladies. Yeah, yeah. But we I, love our pets. Yeah. Y'all know what we talking about. Y'all know what we mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no offense, but hey, I, I wanted to ask, um, you know, uh, how did you have the foresight? I, I mean, we've touched on this before, mm-hmm. but how long? I mean, you've had your your company hustle division for you know. If we didn't mention it already, mm-hmm. this is the, the 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 CEO, the you know the front man of hustle division. Yeah. Um, how did you have the? How long has it been, by the way? Twenty fourteen. Okay, that's yeah. uh yeah. We're going on almost yeah. We're going on a cool minute already. <laughs> he said okay yeah. yeah I'm, all right. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm blanked out. I'm, my, my math is off. Uh, no. Wait, okay. Yeah yeah no, no but uh, you know close to the that's the day mark. one shit. That's the I'm talking about like little fish status. Like mm-hmm. I was not a shark yet. I was but a it, little guppy. But you know? but it was it's hustle division though. Yeah. So that was what I was going with the question is how did you have the foresight? Um, Especially that long ago, because a lot of people are, you know, trying to kind of uh, follow the blueprint that you've yeah. that you've done, and not saying you invented that yeah, yeah, blueprint, yeah. but how did you have the foresight to get into that field at that time in 2014? Man, you're almost going on a decade, but mm. um, a lot of dots have been connected in that time. How did you have what? What made you? Go into that realm, the business side, the entrepreneur I mean, side, and running a business. I, I, I started off real young, you know. I was always writing music and doing like that's how I started off in the music space, right? So mm-hmm. I understood how to compose records, and you know, I was um, taught by some of some legendary people, the Avila brothers. I always give them credit. Yeah, you know, uh, I would I pretty much wouldn't exist without them, literally, um, in this in this entertainment industry because they're the ones that walked me into Capitol Records and. Uh, 2014 April so that's why I always mark 2014 was when I feel like I, I technically was introduced and and again that was my tadpole days like I was just interning I wasn't even doing anything except um, just trying to bring value or understand how to bring value because if I came to the table as hey guys I'm an artist then nobody's gonna like everyone's saying that so what, what am I gonna stand out 
Well, I, I feel like a lot of people, but that, that's the thing right there, that you had the, uh, the, the foresight to actually know that it would help you to also intern intern because we we talked to also the homie uh 60 east uh he he did the same thing but a lot of people don't have that uh that thought process that's Mm -hmm. just about let me be in front of the camera let me be the artist not getting uh figuring out to also soak up the knowledge and network with people yeah. But man, you you had that foresight to do that, and I, I've always commended you on that. But go ahead with, with what you were saying. Um, what part was I? On? Oh, I uh, just you know, interning. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How you knew Hustle Division? Was, yeah. So, I, I I first saw an opportunity with the influencer. And, and and again, this was before people were using the word influencer. The word, yeah, that word like, wasn't even yes. It was not. Exactly. I swear, I swear to God, I was. Um, I remember this meeting so clear i was at mr c's and the ceo of monster cable no lee invited me specifically to go over there have dinner with him and with his entire team and focus on me and again i'm just this little dude like i don't know really much except i think i'm on to something because i have this excel sheet full of influencers that i was that's what i was calling them and they have a lot of following and i'm doing successful tours selling out shows hard sell tickets more than signed artists at the time Mm -hmm. and so that's how i was making noise and so people were like how the hell is he getting all these people into these these places nationwide and stuff like that and they see me performing on these stages and so um the reason why i did the influencer stuff is because i only wanted to just be on the stage that was all that was the only thing i wanted to do from that i wanted to get from that then i realized the business side of it i was like oh damn we just sold out nationwide with all these different types of influencers and uh like this is a this is a business template i could probably duplicate and and just apply it to the next one and i'll just continue being a dope artist on these sold out shows with a sold out crowd and um did that light bulb hit you instantly though or did that take some time where you go man i gotta tap into this side too uh i like to keep it real with myself so as soon as i saw the the tangibles yeah. I was like, okay there's something here <laughs> thank you man keep it real and dog. i sounded crazy like to other people yeah like i sounded really like a like i was speaking alien language to everyone in 2014 2015 mm-hmm. you know i was like yeah this is uh, oh they see now yeah no and that's <laughs> and that's and that's the thing like now it's like i gotta talk to eg because he's the one that was talking this this shit before major culture pop culture and everyone was on it because this fool was talking about it since way back Mm-hmm. and so they they trust me that i'm you know i'm actually in the space and i've been i'm an og i'm a, like considered a pioneer into that whole influencer space and um i'm like you know big bro to a lot of influencers and mm-hmm. and I, I i'm really close to a lot of them and i've been i've been a major part of like their meeting greets their startups and stuff like that and they, they know to reach out anytime like i'm always gonna have their genuine best interest I'm not you'll never hear about me you know messing over anybody on some business tip or playing anybody like nah, I'm, I'm here to win i'm here to help people win yeah that's right mm-hmm. and that's spoken like a true playmaker man. <laughs> that's that real shit now but i've always uh you know uh sometimes it's also when you do go into a space like that at the time that wasn't tapped into mm-hmm. as much yeah it was uh, new so yeah, nobody knew it's new but it, that's also a, a risk or, or a... But a, I had the tangibles to back it up. So yeah. I was that made me think and made me feel like I'm not crazy. Oh, yeah. You know? But at, and but then going that route, like, it, 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 even then, even when you had that, it, it seems like, okay, this is a risk. I'm going into kind of uncharted territories. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, to have the, uh, uh, I guess, the, the wherewithal to keep going with that and to go that route bro that that's crazy to me because yeah. like sometimes you you have to you, you take yourself out of a comfort zone that mm-hmm. you were in to go that route yeah but you saw it you saw the writing on the wall before everybody else did and that's cool man yeah yeah and i i, I really you know you you remind me of how you're saying these things it's like a really kind of visionary of how you how you see this it didn't even exist like I really feel like Nipsey was like that. Rest in peace. I, I was, yeah. I actually met with him, and we were supposed to work on different things. And I, I was like, man, this guy is really fucking smart. Oh yeah, and, bro. And as soon as um, as soon as like we linked up, like he got my number. He texted me like, yo, like, cause he was like, yo, you're onto some shit. 
and I was telling him about this info. I showed him my Excel sheet and shit. Like I was over here running around labels and telling everybody, look, this is the next thing. Look, you guys, this person has a million followers and this person's growing at this speed and rate. Mm -hmm. It's going to, you could convert, you could translate this into attention to your album or your next release or whatever the case. He understood it right off the bat. Like, no problem. And a lot of people didn't. A lot of people, they were like, oh, well, this is cool, but, like, my higher-ups, they're not going to approve a budget for this because it's not, it's not the usual, you know? It's not something that was already kind of... They didn't have that on the checklist. In. Yeah, of, yeah. Now oh, they do. <laughs> it's mandatory. Yeah, that, yeah. Like, if, you, if you're releasing a song with any record label, even indie, they'd be like, all right, so, yeah, distro, marketing, billboards, um, bus stop signs, flyers. Uh, where's your influencer campaign? And then they're just like, oh, uh, we got to hire a hustle division. Or they, you know, they use whoever <laughs> I was else. I going to say, someone hit up the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, man, that, that, that's crazy shit, man. A lot of uh, stuff involved. So is that something, did you pick up naturally or did you go to school to learn on? Because a lot of this is not only numbers, but yeah. relationships. Uh, uh, was something that came natural you did a little schooling too um I, I mean i went to school but it was all it was just general so i don't really count that you know okay. like i just i guess uh i dropped out of that the college part because i was just it, it came up came a time where Street i was like knowledge missing important meetings because i was over here putting together a halloween themed spooky uh <laughs> project i'm like yo i could do whole songs like i don't need to do this like what am i yeah. learning here and then that's when i figured like yo i gotta stop this i'm out this and then that's when i just everything started just rolling snowball effect uh but i didn't go to school for everything i know i, I mean I, but I it's a lot of YouTube. studying on your you taught yourself right <laughs> yeah it's self-taught everything um I, I like to always kick it around people that are like more knowledgeable and yeah. experienced yeah. and like that's why I have a lot of OGs, and that's why I move how I move because I move with a lot of respect and and, and proper because I learn from OGs like real ones. You There's know? that saying like uh, uh, something. I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, but if you're mm -hmm. the smartest person in the room or something, yeah, you're in the wrong room. Exactly. Like you wanna you wanna learn something and, and what, be what in about, a room. What about reading too? Do you ever read anything up on like uh, stuff like books or anything? Yeah, like? I don't like to read real physical books. Uh -huh. I like to use audible and well yeah same person. i love yeah yeah i guess just people they'd be like nah well that's not reading like uh, all right, you know, you're seeing the chill, same relax. information <laughs> yeah for sure it well in. yeah it's it's taking in information yeah yeah but i love to uh read audible books i have a, a whole lot like every every type of like self better type of books that's yeah. out there um I, I read all of 50s books the gary v books um it's 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 it, yeah, that's see, what i'm into i see a lot of um there's a, some cats i know too that i see them post a lot about some of those same type of books yeah and, and i and i, I really want to like start checking into that yeah type of stuff too. the laws I, of power all that yeah. stuff like oh yeah art of war all that yeah like i i, I reread them actually because i always end up finding something that i passed up on yeah. and and they're all real like real uh factors and elements and strategies that you could like apply to your life today immediately and some of them are written years and years ago but they still apply right oh like, man today, some yeah. of them yeah hundreds of you know a long long time ago and then yeah. but they still apply man like that's that's crazy you you mentioned 50 though uh you want uh, talk about your experience with, with 50 as 50 well. man so i so you know the song hustle's ambition that's like one of my favorite songs of all time and and uh you know i love music man so music's like very i'm very like passionate about music in general consuming it creating it just everything about music is like that's my love forever you know and that song was like always been a go-to song for me when i'm like down because in the video he's like in a punch in the bag and he's in a gel cell and doing all that type of stuff and it's just kind of like the, the the visual of struggle so it kind of became full circle because i always be like yo i look up to him as a as a successful businessman mogul like again i'd be saying i want to be the latino jay-z latino diddy latino 50 you know like these are all just people that whatever they touch they they turn it into gold like these guys are fucking real and and you know yeah, 50 with his production on the oh the yeah he's killing it in the, the, TVs, show, in the, the tv shows yeah, yeah he's killing it out there but it, it became it really became full circle when i was in vegas shout out to tony yeo it's one of my really good friends 
and um, that's the reason why I'm close with like with the whole team and in the situations with them and, and working on some cool things but um, with 50 it was really like sitting there in the section at Dre's nightclub on his birthday listening watching him performing in the club saying go shorty it's your yeah, birthday it's your I thought it was a very interesting time and um, I was like damn not a lot of people could say this like yeah, you know uh, to be able to like be rocking with him and be really cool with his peoples and team and and, st and like the, the whole staff and everything and then um from the suv to the through through the kitchen through the you know all that type of vibe it's like this is a real experience and this is what it's about like this is the type of things that i really um you know appreciate because when i was a kid or growing up i would be going to this record that i'd be like yo this shit inspired me motivated me on those tough days when i was like struggling that, that he he's uh bro like I, it's crazy because like kind of how we were talking about your transition i mean 50 still does his music and stuff mm -hmm. but like he transitioned and took over like you know the uh the executive yeah, yeah and the film industry and the, and and tv shows bro like like you said everything he he touches is like he knows a hit or mm -hmm. like it's, some people have that ear or that eye you know when when you can interpret it the right way and make it into something big and he seems to know all of those things and yeah that, that's uh that's that's crazy yeah. you reference him because yeah. but I, i've always wanted to like you jay-z you know even i i throw ice cube in there these are cats that like uh, i feel like uh i've always wanted to just have a conversation with them too about that mm -hmm. like even ice cube he created the three the three and the um the basketball thing right the th oh yeah, yeah. The, he's the, the creator three. of it right three, yeah yeah. Three. yeah yeah he took that vision got some <clears throat> other uh people to invest and, and yeah but yeah and then you know uh coming out like he's one of the first rappers not the very first but uh -huh. to transition um to be into film yeah and then but yeah. to not only just be in it then he started learning how to make them mm. then he took on he started directed his yeah, writing, wrote his yeah. own film um that's something that people didn't do and that's kind of what i was tying into to what you did is you could still do what you're doing to get you to meet all these people but you see that other lane man and sometimes you got to jump in that motherfucker yeah. that's, why right. Q, that's why cube has a spot right here on our table here if yeah you can see him on the keys right there oh yeah, yeah. i do see that yeah oh yeah <laughs> and, and Pac. shout out to yeah, you know funko cholos, cholos man he hooks us up with all our pot. we got dr green thumb over here too oh yeah we got a uh, uh by our turntables we got a jam master j you know what I'm oh saying? yep yeah so hey on that on that note is there is there anything that uh you're into collecting like uh any uh you into comic books you into certain type of films is there what, what do you do uh, when you're not working or you i like to travel Okay. I like to travel. Um, and or playing with your dog. I, <laughs> I, yo, I really be posting her all the time. Yeah. That's my baby, man. Yeah. Um, shoot. So sometimes uh, you travel just just to to go, not not really for work. You just go yeah, and just yeah. check spots. You out. go That's check a new a, spot uh, out. It's huh? like experience, you know. I think I think we were made to, uh, to just experience the world as as a human. Like you know, we can't just stay in one spot. And unfortunately, it's it takes money to travel, right? And uh, but but I think that's just like it. It makes me feel whole you know it makes me feel but, like i'm learning a lot about myself see other ways of life and you but know, but it and them. that's the thing kind of to your point if you have the means you should be traveling yeah. to soak up the the different and and you know what and that, all that helps change our 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 perspective and our our views on on different things in the world when we see how other people are doing things or whatever yeah. um you kind of open your eyes to different things yeah. more than just staying in a box, bro. Yeah, I, I like to, like, on my free time, I like to, like, hit the gym. I really, I've really been motivated into that, you know, I, like, I don't track calories and all that stuff, but I'm just, like, on a whole fitness wave, and um, I've been getting some nice results, and just in general, like, uh, overall like i feel really good T healthy you're taking off mm. the gordito part man you can nah, still i'm a proud gordito you, forever yeah, you, you can still <laughs> you can still cook and, and yeah. you can make some good stuff but go in and work some of that stuff off sometimes yeah, yeah like you know I'm, I mean? I'm in there every day like i i trick my mind to just like i tell myself i'm gonna go to the gym every day so that way when i miss a day or two 
it's just five out of seven which so my worst week is someone else's best week yeah yeah you know that's just my mentality of how i treat it and um you know i start off with like the sauna and then just hit up with the uh with the weights hard weights for like 20 30 minutes and that's literally all i do like people think I, i'd be in there like an hour or two i I ain't got no time for that i just hit the, the the quick 30 just not stop though so it's like it's like hit cardio type of vibe and um and then just wrap up with the sauna. And then yeah. the sauna i'm literally done in an hour yeah. with everything and including making my protein shake and everything like that yeah yeah I, I also like to like i said i like to kick it with my dog and walk walk take her for walks and all that like i really like my my alone time my you know it's, I, i'm just a, i like to be in peace you know because this mm. industry is noisy you know what i'm saying it, it could be very like it, it could taint you you know, oh, it can yeah. really influence you, your mind and your thoughts and emotions. Um, I like to I like to kick it with my girl, you know, just like just do normal stuff. I, you got to take that, that time out to balance that that uh, the craziness. The craziness. <laughs> yeah. When you're getting in those meetings and like you said, some ca- mm-hmm. some people coming in with emotions and yeah. And and to balance all that out, you got to have peace sometimes yeah. and, and create it your own way that I do the same. But I just chill. I got a, a different pets and I'll just sometimes I'll catch myself, uh, you know, I have like a couple tortoises, like just random yeah. shit, dog. And I'll go out back there to go feed them or check on them. You I, said I got Donatello, Michelangelo, yeah, yeah, Raphael yeah. right, right, right here, shit, dog, right here. We, we, got, uh, we got some like little fucking crazy pets and, and uh, but I catch myself like before I know it, I'm back there just. I was, I'm just vibing, like checking them out. And I, I noticed I'm damn, I'm back there like 30, 40 <laughs> minutes sometimes like, whoa. And I'm just yeah. zoned out. You know yeah. what I mean? Just chilling. And I, I guess like, like you were going, uh, like uh, saying is that's my peace sometimes. Yeah. I like the simple things. I'm into the simple Thank you. things, yeah. man. Thank like I'm not about to say some extra fluff bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm just not that. I will never be that. Yeah. Uh, and um, what was it? Oh, I like to, I like to create music. You know, I, even though I'm not a, uh, an artist uh i do have credits on a lot of records writing credits and production credits so i like to just create just for fun like it's fun when you travel uh what about when you travel what, what about the dog are you able to take her with you um, or do you have a city? i haven't i haven't taken her out yet we were t- uh-huh. i was we're about to go to europe um oh, and wow. so I'm, I'm hoping i could be able to take her then yeah, okay. so uh, i just don't know like the the rules and regulations because yeah, my dog is so small she's like really small just well, at least her. it is easier to travel if she's small, though. I mean, yeah, I throw her in the backpack, little. homie. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to be there and be uh, told, "Hey, your dog cannot board because of something weird." Y- y- I, mean, I think uh, they make them do some type of quarantine actually for like maybe a week before. That's the only thing. So I don't know how long you plan yeah. to be there, but they they make them new bubble uh, backpacks now for pets. You uh, seen the motherfuckers? I'm like, definitely uh, not wearing. Yeah, one yeah of those. I know, dog. <laughs> I tri- I said, "What the fuck?" I seen people like I, I mean, I never seen seen it an actual person, but. I, mm. I was like, I, I saw, saw it somewhere on the internet, and and that like people be strolling around with like a cat in the. Oh fucking, yeah, they got a whole cat. A cat just chilling in the in a little bubble in their backpack, looking at people like, what the, like fuck what the fuck am, am I? I doing? Yeah, what am I doing in <laughs> yeah. here? What the hell's going on with my life? Yeah, yeah. I'm used to being stray, but hey, um, bro, I, I, like I said, the connecting the dots part is like, um, something that also you know you you motivate me bro because um you're able to take different aspects of the of the industry as well yeah so it's not just an artist or or music or i gotta set this show up for homie mm-hmm. it's like it could be their marketing campaign to drop the new project yeah it could be some new clothing like yeah how, how do you um how do you know who to tap in with and who to do what does it just come to you or or you got everything are you a real structured guy you got everything um, i'm very organized like if you, go you to got graphs house, on your wall and shit. I, I have like three whiteboards uh, all right there. um i have a full checklist every day i write it out at night time and so when i wake up uh i just go straight to it and i'm already knowing what needs to be done before i go to sleep that day mm-hmm. um unless i have like a zoom call meetings like actual timed meetings then i have to block out those hours but I'm very organized like if you ever come to my house like it's very like a modern open space that you it's really hard to lose anything in there like it's very just simplistic and like that was by design right 
for yeah, what you do. I, I put it all together myself. Yeah, like yeah. everything's white. Everything's white on white. All LED. Like, mm-hmm. uh, it, and, and it's so crazy because, like, being able to come from, like, my background. Like, I used to sleep on the ground till I was like sixteen, seventeen. You know, like, just on the piso right there with like a, a blanket for cushion. You know, with my grandma and being like without a bed and understanding what it feels like to sleep on the ground like that which i have no problem i'm not even like i'm proud of where i come from and my upbringing and to be able to live the type of um i guess like environment that i'm in you know a beautiful house and, and like i mentioned earlier beautiful dog and all these things like to me it's just like such a like a blessing like such a good thing it really makes me happy to be able to like damn i really came from that mm-hmm. far to just be able to have like a all white crib be able to choose where i'm getting what from and like not even have a problem with it and um have like i, I, I like manifestation is so crazy because i remember would be thinking like i want my crib all white i want it all white and it is fucking all fucking <laughs> white dog like the couch the fucking everything dog like even, even my the neutral dog bullet. Even, even the dog, dog. even the, the dog, dog. Went, yeah <laughs> the, dog, the dog used to be brown she used to be like a little brownie and then she just uh changed colors so yeah. she, she adapted she just, to the environment yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's a chameleon she turned into a chameleon yeah she yeah. just got the black on the ears which is so cute it's like it's like a signature um but even the neutral bullet is white <laughs> everybody got the gray <laughs> one and my extra ass is just like you know yeah. let me get the white one and yeah. i just gave the other one to my mom like yo this works just fine i just replacing it with the white one like it's it so goes funny. with the vibes it gets yeah. you in that work mode yeah. is that where your workspace is most of the time at home is that you have it organized and you have yeah. or, or is it mostly on the road because mm-hmm. i know you're on the phone it's a like lot. both it's like oh. both you know like I, I have a lot of different spaces like where I live and then I have like a extended office location and then I have like access to like my accounting office that he always welcomes me to come over and and um, you know my CPA so he's he's always um, welcoming to have me over and stuff like that so like I have a lot of thankfully I have a lot of locations to work out of and stuff it's wherever you gotta handle business yeah and I like to change environments yeah or I like to change environments it's very important like just I want I, sometimes I, I I'm so alone and by myself I need to go and just have people around me mm-hmm. even even if it's me just popping up at a Starbucks or something like just cuz yeah you know because yeah. it'd be like yo i'm in the house all day i forgot to eat i've been just ripping and running what uh what's going on yeah man, that that's you know handling business though a lot of uh you know ventures are made off that let, let me ask you um you know what what kind of artist like what is it about the artist that besides the ones that just come to you what do you see in an artist that makes you want to work with them and and also the opposite like what do you what kind of artist don't you want to work with because see a lot of people have their bad habits and mm. and different things and and maybe are not able to um maybe conform to um uh the new ways and yeah the things that are going on um wh- what is it you look for and and, um, and not look for in an artist i mean i i definitely like to enjoy the people i work with and thankfully like so it, it helps if they're not an asshole yeah it definitely helps <laughs> but there's certain times that i don't really have to communicate with them or whatever but they just have the budget to make something happen and it's like oh well that's an easy push button play like i'm not, I'm not even involved with it heavily it's just a phone call away from me or whatever but i, I definitely want to i'm thankful to have a selected be able to select who i work with you know so whether it's a campaign usually the labels will forward the campaigns and then like hey we have this upcoming record and and then uh have a team meeting with the artists and management and stuff and and uh usually they're all cool about it because you gotta keep in mind my position is a very unique one because i'm not just uh i don't i don't bring to the table something that's available anywhere so they already come uh correct or come with a different type of perspective and understanding like like they know they know what 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 they're getting into yeah yeah yeah. this is we're about to handle some business right yeah exactly and and a lot of the times they're all referral word of mouth so 
they they know what to expect already. It's not like let's let's have a discovery call with this guy. And yeah. Let's feel him out. Like no, nah, it's like I'm feeling you out. Y'all yeah. be, y'all y'all here because y'all need me. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm I could just keep going with my life and move forward to the next campaign or next brand or whatever. Like, which I want to work with everybody. I'm I'm totally open to hearing new ventures, new opportunities. But I mean, if, thankfully I'm, I'm I offer something very special. Mm-hmm. And I and I think. Like going back to like what I was saying with the foresight of it all is like um, you did kind of you're in you're in your own lane. I know other people are, you know, catching on and, mm. and but you you grabbed that or, or found that lane way back, you know, 2014 <laughs> um, when, when people didn't see that lane. Yeah. Yet. Like yeah. it was that was a hidden lane and you found it and that was that. But it's very important in what's going on now in entertainment. That's a, like yeah. a real big thing. Yeah, it definitely is. Like I, I can't tell you how many golden conversations I've had. Like from Emery Jones at Rock Nation, and, and I don't know if you guys know who Emery Jones is, but like being in the hip hop world, like this guy's the man with Jay Z. Like he's Jay Z's right hand. Like you know, and he was like he handles all the planes. Um, you know, like the paper plane logo. He handles all the branding for them. Like on that department side. And that's like Jay's, you know, childhood best friend. Like that's his go-to. Like uh-huh. that's like what Tony Ayo is to Fifty, you know. So having these well, golden... even LeBron James's guy, uh, uh, Rich Paul, uh, they're childhood homies too. Yeah, and like, yeah. like, oh, he like, it's crazy. Or the other guy, Maverick, the guy that does his podcast or runs his podcast, is another one of his, I guess, close business partners. But he grew yeah. up with him. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. So like, there's a lot of golden conversations that that uh people that i've had with people and just like damn this is really going on (laughs) like i'm speaking i'm having a conversation with this dude who's making these you know big moves and that's crazy man so um for for artists that are artists is it just artists or actors what are you all over the entertainment or is it mainly dealing with music uh Uh. I mean, I deal with content creators okay. and artists. Like, usually in the artist space, it's they have an album or some sort of release they want Hustle Division to be uh, helping out with. Or with the content creators, it's like assembling meet and greets or brand deals and stuff like that. That's crazy. I like what, what your uh, typical day consists of. And yeah. speaking on that, I mean, what... What's your normal wake up time and all that? When do you start getting to where? I'm sure sometimes, I mean, I know how it is. We overthink yeah. sometimes. You're probably, I'm a big you're probably working it. Yeah, you're probably working when you're asleep sometimes. Like yeah. you're already thinking of your next move for the next day. But your typical day, what what does it consist of? What time you get up usually? I, I usually wake up like 8, 9 because that's when the East Coast clients already like are banging my line. Okay. So I'll wake up at around that time and, and handle immediate fires. Uh, and I try not to touch my phone in, in the beginning, at least for like 10 minutes or as long as I can, because I, I, I was doing a lot of research and just like if you wake up immediately and just start to the phone, you're, you get you're, distracted, you're, right? You, well, it's sort of a distraction. Yeah, but it's more of like you're it, the first thing you're feeding your your mind and, and your whole aura is just some bullshit probably yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah and it's like it, it's something that pops it. up and first of all yeah. it's nothing that is going to help you it's just yeah. it, all the messages are about to be things that people need from you and it's like when you wake up you first thing you need to be able to need yourself type of shit like you need to be able to like all right am i whole is my arms and focus my limbs, like focus am i awake awake or, yeah and then you could be able to help it you gotta help yourself before you help others Get so the restroom exactly <laughs> like damn like yeah. what you mean you want this email back in uh, you know what I, mean? I haven't even woken up yet but but i, I ideally i do that around eight nine and then um if if i'm able to if i'm lucky i'll go take a nap again because usually i'll be going to sleep late and i'm trying to get better at that but i know it is what it is i try to go to sleep at around 12 wake up by eight nine and then um hit the gym that's the first thing like that's that's first thing get Uh, your mind and your physical right Uh yeah sauna gym and then after that uh i'll go through my to-do list that i have already on the whiteboard so they're all just blue checks and i just gotta like just run them through knock one thing off at a time and and run down the the line hey man that that's that's great but consistency though you you 
you practice that and you and you keep that in your yeah. and keep that going. consistency yeah, helps. I, I can't be up here talking that fitness shit if that you ain't see no every, like i post every time i mean that's every almost every day if you see it you know like i, I can't lie i'm yeah. not it's just the proof is there like, yeah he didn't pre-record that <laughs> no pre -record, he's still yeah. sleeping post let me post yeah. this gym photo. post a gym photo real fast hey um let, let, let's talk about the uh you know hustle division in general been around since 2014 mm. um how can an artist or or somebody that would want to work with you what's the best way hit you on the email yeah like, yeah just email dm i check all my stuff or mm -hmm. my team you know so i'm very open I, I pay a lot of attention to everything that's on social media so it's like that's part of my job it's too. part of it yeah because you have to know again yeah. with the influencing and know what who's making moves and who who's uh making noise and who, who's just full of shit and you know <laughs> all that stuff that yeah. goes along with it man hey um let me ask you too uh somebody else that we we mentioned 52 but steve lobel um also kind of like the the pre-version of <laughs> what you're doing now no, of, yeah it's, no it's it really crazy. is because this was when everything was literally word of my we didn't have social media and all yeah. that but he was one of those dudes that was able to connect the dots yeah as well like yeah. I, I, he's an iconic yeah playmaker manager like I, i'm really thankful to be able to call him a friend you know we've worked on several projects together you know broke bread together and shared a lot of great moments together as far as just like in general man you know he's a great person great human and really thankful for him to be in my life and be able to show me yeah firsthand because this guy is like busy you know and and uh it's a great person to be able to learn from especially in the in the position that i'm in mm -hmm. most definitely yeah this this dude man i like i don't know him personally but you can just see that um yeah, he, ha he has that energy, bro. Mm -hmm. He's been doing this shit a long yeah. ass time, and, and the respect that he has. You see all these artists that are always yeah, giving absolutely. him, get bigging him up, you know, yep. like giving him concrete. Up. Like that's what I want. I want people yeah. to be like, yo, yeah, legit, real. Where you be, where you can do business Solid. for all these years and not have nobody saying no foul shit. Like it's like we we're gonna handle. We go, but we we make an agreement and we handle shit accordingly, and everything should be fine, man. Like, yeah, no miscommunication. I think that's a big thing in what you do. Um, you're a good communicator and that's something that uh you know obviously is important in what you do very Dude, important i i used to i used to be really shy uh -huh. i used to be really shy in high school like i know that's probably hard to believe <laughs> but <laughs> but uh I, I would be like i i even like i would tell my girl like yeah if i seen you in, in school in class and you was the new girl i'd be like shitting bricks hands sweaty <laughs> yeah, i'd yeah. be chilling <laughs> i'm not gonna say nothing to you yeah. Like, cause I I wouldn't know how to approach a girl. I wouldn't know how to approach a business deal or a, a, a you know, public speaking is like the number one fear. Oh yeah. And I yeah, would not. Was... I would just like yo, I freeze like straight up. I would freeze in every type of attention scenario, whether it's from a person on the other side of the table, a girl, a beautiful girl, or whatever kind of shit. I, I used to turn beet red because I have I'm light complexed, so I just turn. I can feel it. Well, I would turn red and I'm brown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I can feel. I can feel like yeah. my, my face heating up. Yeah, I look like a fresa, like yeah, a yeah, strawberry yeah. dog. I can feel like a beet, fucking <laughs> cherry. <laughs> for real. Uh, uh, yeah, no, but hey, bro, and it's crazy because you know over the years, I, like I, I think I've also always been a good communicator, but um, the there's something about when it's just boom all eyes are just listening to you when mm -hmm. you got to say something like it does it, it it makes you sweat a little bit and i i've even gotten better and I, and here's what's crazy i hold shows like with a lot of people in the crowd sometimes dog like and i still have that but i think it's a good thing because it helps me like to stay on point and stay on my toes yeah but i've gotten better at that as well like i i wouldn't be able to like i would be able to do all the the hype shit or the music shit yeah but when you when you're actually stopping and just saying something to people it's kind of hard bro because everybody's actually listening and it's like i've gotten better o at that over the years you don't too want someone throwing shit at you and all this shit. and i don't know throwing a tomato <laughs> and shit <on>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah only only if the ladies are throwing their draws yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, it, oh, as long as they're yeah ne never mind <laughs> But, yeah yeah i'm gonna get myself in trouble <laughs> but uh, but um no but that's something um 
for your line of business that you also had to teach yourself out of like get yourself out of that, that yeah uh, that i had shy, to. it was like, it was sort of like it was sort of like a spirit told me or an energy was like yo if you want to fuck with me like this is what you have to do it's no going around it mm-hmm. and i remember just like damn well i'm fucking shy man yeah. i don't know and i'm just sitting there talking to myself i'm like damn do i really want to do this music shit or do i really want to be the latino blah 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 and jay-z and diddy and 50 like an entrepreneur do i really want to do that yes i really want to do that so fuck that let's go like what, we, what do i gotta do like i i really like to be um it might it might be weird but like feeling uncomfortable like I, i'm good with that because that tells me that on the other side from what i've learned that growth is on the other side of being uncomfortable so when i when there's moments like I, like my life changes bro every like two three months i swear to god like changes like you know, I, I got, I, I'm, I was telling you off the air, like, I, I work with Future now, Zooties, like, my company manages that whole brand, Crazy. And, and it's just like, I there was a point I didn't, I didn't even know anyone in his camp, and I'm just like, damn, just like that, my boy Chris hit me, and we just set it up, and then uh, now, now, now we're in motion, and so it's like, different things, you know, like, even being a, a offered a co-founder position at a a smart contract um nft company that's why you see me on panels and shit now with the web threes and stuff and um the whole tech space so i'm i'm officially a latino in the tech space you know Damn. so it's 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 very interesting and i feel uncomfortable all the time if i feel like if i didn't feel uncomfortable then um that's like being complacent which is totally fine I hear you if that. you want to be there. Yeah, I don't want to be there. You want to so, keep evolving, and it, and it and it also keeps you on your toes when you're not completely always in your comfort zone. You got to yeah. be ready and and be on point yeah. because you can't just sit back and let you know uh, regular things don't slide. Like you you have to be on point. Yeah, yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm glad I'm glad you mentioned that though because it 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 does bring a. a slight bit of complacency Mm. to what you're doing when you're just comfortable all the time yeah like it's cool if you want to do like if you reached your goal and that like this is where you're at like that's that's great for your journey your your goals my goal is not that my goal is to continue to level up and continue to evolve yeah that's what we like to hear Mo- this is like motivation right here and speaking of that have you ever done any motivational speak speeches have, or, yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you get those yeah. as well yeah that yeah. that's big shit right there bro because yeah. uh you know um you get people again out of their comfort zone and everything doesn't have to be easy all the time for it to be good and successful yeah. Yeah. you ever done anything like that with like youth like younger like maybe for like sure. high school and all that yeah. you have yeah that's mm-hmm. cool man. That's yeah cool. i'm big on that because hell yeah that that stuff actually makes me feel really good it makes it makes me happy like i posted on my story like last week um seeing other people happy makes me happy you know and a lot of people it's easier a lot of people don't like that because it's easier to hate than to love sure. so yeah, I'm with you, man. To me, it's the opposite. To me, it's easier to, like, I mean, there's enough bullshit that happens to all of us on a daily yeah. basis as it is. Life will throw at you, so why not try, yeah. you know, you could try to make it, ease it up a little bit by just being cool, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that hard. Yeah, it's not that hard to, to not be an asshole to everybody. I know life hits us hard sometimes, but we don't have to, you know, <laughs> go outside. See, I'm one, of, I'm one of them dudes, man, like, when I'm feeling a certain type of way, like yeah. I'm not feeling the day or whatever it might be, having a bad day, I, I don't go outside. I don't go places and try to fucking bring that negative energy. I, I deal with my shit, handle my negative, whatever, get out of it. And then when I'm ready, yeah. I, then I go outside and, and have a good time because I'm not <clears> trying <throat> to go out there and, and portray all my problems onto someone else yeah. or you know what I mean? But uh let's get into the uh, thank you for coming uh, bro i i, I do want i do appreciate you coming through and kind of uh like i said it was almost a motivational speech here <laughs> because when people hear this you know they're gonna realize you know what maybe i could do a little more and get and be on my toes a little more and make things happen man but yeah. we we do a rabbit fire round uh here do it one one more quick oh, you question got one. before yeah, we get on. into that um i just wanted to know like mm. um out of all the like like what? What's one of the stands out of the shows you've been a part of, whether you performed or put together or been at? What's a What's a show that right you just 
that was the fucking show right there. Uh, I, I think that 50 moment. Okay. That was crazy because, you know, one of the biggest records of, like, in all time in the club, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. respectfully be able to say that and mm. the biggest artist of that generation, right? Uh, and yeah. to to hear those lyrics and on his day of birth it with It was him. his actual birth. Yeah, yeah, it was literally actually. Did he, so, did he hang upside down with and do the sit ups? <laughs> nah, that's <laughs> dude, I really I really fuck with him because he just he, the ladies he did knows, that. The ladies were doing it. <laughs> he yeah, knows yeah. how to turn that. Uh, any any negative shit, he just oh, knows how to turn it right around. Hey, dog, no, he's 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 good at that, man. Yeah. He, he'd be like fucking uh, trolling cats sometimes, but yeah. I feel like a lot of the times. Uh, it's something they they probably need to hear and no one else says it this fool just says it like it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy uh what's your fa- uh favorite uh go-to fast food spots man when you're out and about i like chick-fil-a Chick- hey bro i like, I like that. pho but that's not fast food but i like really well, like pho. some of them are somewhat yeah uh, like but you chi- can go fast in and food, get some- chick-fil-a Fuzz good too though. I love fuzz. Matter of fact, I haven't had it in a while. And, I I, <laughs> and for I, those who don't know, you think it's called pho, but it's actually called pho. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People think it's pronounced pho. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I used to say that. I used to say that. I used to be me one too. of those. Me too. <laughs> what the fuck you hit in pho? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, uh, pho. That's the that's the shit, man. Yeah. I like that, man. And um, h- how about uh, you know, your your favorite. Uh, go to uh, records or or, or uh, musicians that you listen to when you are you you talked about it a little bit earlier, but mm. some of the, the stuff you you listen to when you when you need that extra that push, because music is the key. Dude, I I go through genres, man. Some day I know me too. Some days I'll have like a I'll be on my oldies shit. Some days mm-hmm. on some classic rock, some on some hip hop. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, yeah. I'll be doing the same. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like, like rock, light rock, like three doors down to shit like that. Yeah. And then I go into, uh, like I was in the drill. You know, like that was that was those cool vibes. It just depends what like where I'm at. Cause I get tired of a genre. I'm like, all right, I gotta stay away from this. Yeah. And then, oh, that was that was a big moment when I was at Tycoon Weekend with with G Unit and Fifty. I was kicking in with Key Sweat, so like I'm legit friends with Key Sweat now, le- oh, a legend. Shit. And like I was like, yo, like you know what I mean? Like he got these records, and those shits hit different now. Like, yeah. you know, like oh man, that that Key Sweat shit is <laughs> timeless, bro. Love Keith Sweat, we was we shit. was eating Whataburger. We was eating Whataburger. Man. Oh, we was in the lobby. Hey, there's a joint. Like you know, everybody knows his main ones. You know, uh, but there was a joint. And they even did a remix that he did with LL Cool J. And I can't even think of the name of the, the song right now. But they did like a slower version. Then they did more of a hip-hop version of it. And mm-hmm. both versions were hard as fuck, bro. But it was one of them ones I feel like what got slept on. Like, mm-hmm. bro, them joints were hard as fuck. Yeah. It was LL Cool J and Key Sweat. But it was on Key Sweat's joint. And they did yeah. a remix. Bro, it, it, dog, that shit was so hard, bro. Timeless yeah. music, man. Yeah, no, nah, he's such a cool dude too, and and it's funny because the way that we was able to like connect is, uh, we, you know, we were in Houston and I already got like, you know, the plugs out there and everything settled right. So we're like, he's like literally uh, the the club owner, whoever it was. They didn't he didn't know that Keith Sweat was outside and like, Fifty and everyone's already inside, and so Keith Sweat was one of the guests for Tycoon Week. And I'm like, yo, y'all got a legend outside, like being pushed around with shit. Like, what the fuck is going on? Did somebody Dude. handle this. So yeah. as soon as um, you know, I spoke with Duke because I knew him. I was like, yo, look, you, it's, he's outside, bro. Like, what's going on? And so like, immediately cleared the path like Moses and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Because it was Red packed. Sea. It was packed. You know. Yeah. But like, it was, that was a vibe. That was like, it was, it was cool because, and I'm really like, you see, like, oh yeah, like that one moment because he was so cool. Like, and he's a legend. You know what I mean? And he's got that. Uh, that what's that? Like my favorite record of his is the uh, Juno. You oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like that shit. nobody. Yeah. 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 And that ain't even one of yeah. That's and my favorite. That's what though. I was gonna say. That's, that's kind of how favorite, I feel about those bro. LO Cool J. The two they did that's is it was shit. like everybody knows the main main classics. You know the yeah. uh, uh, I can't even think right now, but yeah. the the main shit. 
But then yeah, there's well, there's ones memory. that that we have on our own that okay this is my favorite joint and yeah. like yeah bro like classic joints they're at they still play them joints at proms at weddings yeah. like damn I really bro. like early two thousands like I really like like into you fabulous type of vibes like oh, I'm yeah. really big on that dilemma Nelly like all that type of time yeah. and then um I, I'm also like into like uh, like electro electronic like those types of vibes. This is cool. Like, there's a lot of catchy melodies and, like, the chain, the, like, the chain smokers and stuff like that. Those type of vibes. That, that's cool, too. So, I, I really just love music, dog. I even have, um, like, a couple country songs that I do like. Like, uh, Kane Brown got a hit, Heaven. That shit's hard. I like the one about the red cup. Or was it the red solo cup? I think I heard that <laughs> one. Yeah, that Bro. Cool. Or a barbecue stain on my shirt. Or something. <laughs> yeah. I forgot what it was. Bro, I, I like I, Country Roads. You heard that one? John Denver, Country Roads? Oh. I'm sure I have at some that point. That is an iconic Bro, I have, like, I'm not, like, a, a, a well, super. Kenny Rogers, the gambler, is a classic. I know that. Well, I'm not super up on, like, all the titles and stuff. Me but, either. Like, I just know those two. Back, like, <laughs> years ago, bro, I, I was I was working, like, uh, stocking shelves at a grocery store, right? Yeah. And it was the, uh, fuck, dude, the first time I, like, it was a graveyard shift. And it was mm -hmm. crazy because I had a, my whole school. The schedule, the sleep schedule was all fucked up. Yeah. Like, I, I would literally, like, just to go to sleep, well, I would get off at, like, eight in the, 7, 8 in the morning. We'd get some food, and I would fucking drink, like, a 40 or something just so I could try to go to sleep. I, my schedule was all fucked up. But anyways, the point was, uh, overnight, it was uh, the guy that, the, the shift lead, whatever he was called at yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Mean-ass country dude. He actually came from another state, and, he, like, he, he was the lead team lead whatever yeah bro all night country songs uh booming on the shit because it was fucking a graveyard shift so we were stocking the shelves and i was a youngster and i i caught myself i thought i was super hip-hop head and i would be during the day singing like country you tunes. probably heard that yeah. song yeah though. it's <laughs> called country roads i'm sure i have bro i'm sure i have like that that really that's like a uh i got a time stamp in my in my head with that in turks and caicos like just it just hit like it just hit with the vibes the waves like it's a it's a vibe i don't know man. you have to you have to yeah you catch that right vibe yeah, you're gonna have moment. to go pull up to ocean sign just close your eyes and shit and, 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 pull, and pull up some john denver yeah <laughs> hey um so another quick one um yeah anybody you you've got a chance to meet so many different people and all that man but is there uh someone either influence wise that motivates you or Someone you haven't chopped it up with that you would like to have a conversation with one time. I haven't had a convo with Jay directly, so I think that'd be pretty. That would be on the list know? too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know they always got that's that, on my that list, meme. bro. They, they got that meme, the uh, dinner with Jay Z or a million or something like that, and then oh uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. That that that's a good one. Yeah, I think like I said, probably Jay Z, Ice Cube. Uh, Fuck, I, I'm, I'm I'm drawing a blank right here, but there's a few other, a couple of actors I would just mm -hmm. like to chop it up with. You yeah. Know? Go ahead, Shay. You oh, gonna... um, so you probably, I guess you don't have much time to watch like films or movies, but it, when you do, like what's your genre of movie that you would like, I like most comedy. into? Comedy? Yeah, oh, I like so comedy. Stuff. That's why I like, I love Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I love comedy. Like, uh. I, I, I was watching, um, like, what is the shit? That Dahmer shit? Oh, oh bro, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing to watch, though, right? Yeah, that shit is crazy, really happened, bro. You know? I've only watched two episodes, so don't tell me what happens. No, right. no I'm. A, I'm well, actually... I remember from the news, but I, yeah, I've only watched two episodes myself. Oh, okay. I'm on the last. I believe I'm on the last one or two episodes. Yeah. So I've, I'm a little further yeah. than you, but yeah, that yeah. shit. And fucking... then I'm like, I was watching uh, American Horror Stories. Mm -hmm. So that that's you know like I do like to watch that uh, like documentaries and realistic I love documentaries. shit. Yeah. I love that. I love. Yeah. I totally love that, but. I, I don't I mentioned the horror or the, what is it suspense stuff yeah, because yeah. I, I personally wouldn't be like the go to to go to see that but since like kind of like I'm in a relationship now like that's what she's into and I'm like let me see what's up with this shit yeah, yeah. and then I saw the American Horror Story like oh this shit's pretty hard yeah it's not like, like, but I've heard about everyone talk about yeah. American Horror Story I, I, it's like a classic thing like yeah. it's a it's a big thing right it's yeah. like a thing so <clears throat> and of course I've heard the Don Muir thing you know but all it's, like, it's like as, as, an, as a person in entertainment you can go and uh, kind of like appreciate like this for what it is for like maybe yeah. the writing oh this is clever yeah writing, yeah yeah exactly the cinematography yeah. or whatever so i do appreciate it i yeah. do definitely appreciate it i don't hate it at all it's yeah. just more like 
my go-to would be comedy, mm-hmm. documentary vibes. Nah, really my not. favorite genre is like what it. I feel like they don't have enough of though. But I like those gangster flicks. But like the the mobs, like the yeah. mobster type. I love type, those two. Like the like the Al Capone type. I shit. love all that. Oh, that Scarface, all yeah. that. Oh, all that shit. Oh, like, yeah. I love all that too. Yeah, I love all that because I feel like uh, um, I could really like relate to a lot of um qualities yeah. that they carry yeah you know um yeah because whether whatever you want to say about them there was still some qualities there of how they conducted themselves the yeah business. yeah exactly yeah. and and i've been i've been in the room with like very um very powerful people and so i learned firsthand that it's um it's like a lot of the stuff is is israel like the way those qualities are mm-hmm. expressed and mm-hmm. so um, I, I, I really love those. I really yeah. love those. That's some that's that shit, man. I feel like they need to come out with a new one or something. I'm a, or I'm gonna have to go digging again. Maybe I'm missing a couple or something. But, <laughs> hey Shay, you got any more? Oh, like, oh, talk, what about um like food type so besides Mexican food of what you kinda grew up with or American food, like what other like uh international foods like is your probably your favorite that you that you would say that you'd like to eat uh, eat or yeah. cook? Hmm. Oh yeah, he's a chef. I like, I mean, I, I don't want to say like chicken burgers. Like I love steak, but that's all American. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think like what it's type maybe of between say like Italian, Chinese. Oh, okay. Or I love Italian. Or... I love lasagna. Like uh, if Garfield was a human form, <laughs> I I would be Garfield. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Be, he loves lasagna. Though. <laughs> I would be Garfield. You know what I'm saying? Lasagna. Like, I I'm, I dig Italian too, man. I love they got Italian. some good ass food, but yeah. that shit fills you like that pasta shit. Yeah. I love ice cream too. Oh yeah. Oh, that also oh, for desserts, <laughs> ice creams, your <laughs> shit. Like, I like I'm stuck between I don't know if I like uh like uh cookies better or like cake or cupcakes. Uh, I really dig like uh, like a it dope depends cookie. on how the cookie is like Yeah, that. like if someone makes a bomb cookie, the, I think the, that's my favorite. The, the, I think the soft chocolate chip. You know the the, 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 the BJ's what is that dessert? Oh, oh the Pazuki. There you go. Pazuki or Pazuki, whatever. <laughs> Dog, I just had one a couple of days uh, ago. Uh, I had a I had a few hours to myself before uh, I went to get my daughter. Gotta be one of the best desserts. Ever. And, I, and I, I went to get lunch, and I'm like, Warm cookie. and then the guy's like, "Hey, you got?" And I'm like, "Fuck, I can't come here without getting to one of them." So I go, "Do you have a mini one?" It was just me by myself, dog. I went like real quick so I can get yeah. some lunch. I ended up eating a whole motherfucker by myself, <laughs> dog. I've done it before, but yo, y'all gotta like, try. Um, it's a it's a thing called honey cake. It's called honey cake. That just sounds I'm good. I'm pretty sure y'all haven't tried it. I love cheesecake too. Cheesecake is so good. Where's honey cake at? Uh, that just sounds good. <laughs> what's, what's her name? Yeah. Sound like a stripper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what no. joint she work at? <laughs> yeah. No, so the honey cake, I just recently discovered because I, I, I've i been put onto these all foreign desserts and everything lately and stuff and so um this honey cake was just like it's like cheesecake with drizzle honey and like layers of crust of the cheesecake crust that's what to me it tasted like and man dog i'm telling you that sounds good it's a vibe (laughs) it's a vibe yo hey one more bong rip and i'm I'm gonna find find some honey cake somewhere yo just look it up you're gonna be like damn so it's either gonna be real honey cake or i'm gonna be in somewhere where she's dancing the slow motion for me <laughs> there, wait the, the wrong one i googled the wrong one i got the wrong slow honey cake. motion for me. she told me her yeah. name was honey cake bro you, EG, you told me dog yeah you guys fucking miss it. you bamboozled me <laughs> hey man i i want to thank you for coming through um we appreciate your time everything um let let them know you know your 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 whole company and every everything where people could follow you. Yeah, all, all, that all stuff my too. socials is very simple. E. G. The Playmaker, and uh, Hustle Division is the company. And pretty much, you can find me like that. You know, you'll you'll be able to. I'm, I pop right up on on Google or whatever. Like you'll see like articles and all the other stuff. You know, I you just got a website key. for it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah you of got course. Yeah, cool. right. yeah. Make sure you guys go check out the website too. And anybody that wants to you know connect them dots and make some big moves man hit up this dude man he makes the plays right here eg man thank you um anything else though that's coming soon that we might uh be on the lookout for before uh, we go shoot i mean just 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 stay tuned on my ig there it is just stay tuned on my ig that's tap all i'm in gonna with say them. tap oh. in with them you'll see what the new is yeah. yep and yep. you'll probably yep. see lola 
of, of course. And you'll course. probably see him working out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and, and a lot lasagna. of food. It's and a lot lasagna. of honey food. Yeah, and some lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, some thank, honey cakes. <laughs> thank, yeah. and, and honey cakes, man. Hey, thank you, bro, for coming through, man. Appreciate we appreciate you, appreciate you, man. This is EG, the My playmaker. My dog, yes, sir. Rabbit Season Podcast. Another one in. <laughs>